One of the most important things during the instrument setup is sensitivity calibration. And one of the most popular sensitivity calibration procedures is DAC calibration. So I'm going to show how easy this procedure can be with Sonicon instrument. Sensitivity calibration usually concludes the setup process, so we suggest all other necessary setup and calibration is already done. The first step in the DAC system setup is to acquire the reference curve at the DAC block. To make it sure there are no DAC points left from the previous setups, I choose and activate clear reference curve. Then I activate the get points item to enter the DAC curve points acquisition mode. Now I can move the gates with left and right arrows. So I find the echo from the first reflector in the DAC block. Maximize its amplitude, gate it, and press Enter button to acquire the DEC curve point. Sonaka automatically adjusts the gain to put the signal to the 80% and records the DEC point. Now I can check if I can find even better signal, and press Enter button again. Sonaka substitutes the previously recorded point with a new one. If for some reason I need to remove the current point, I can do it with second function plus enter combination. Then I repeat the same procedure for the rest of reflectors in my DEC block. After I'm done with all points, I press exit button to quit the acquisition mode. Now we have the reference curve and are ready to continue. According to different UT codes, we are to use several DAC curves, shifted from the reference one at some number of decibels. Sonicon already has presets for most of the codes. American European Japanese and Chinese. If none of the pre-programmed codes fits, we also can set from 1 to 5 additional DAC curves manually, given their number and offsets from the reference curve. If necessary, we can toggle the reference correction mode or give the value of the transfer correction, the difference in sensitivity at the calibration block and at the test object due to surface state, coupling conditions, etc. If we make testing of some large or high attenuation objects so that DAC would have wide dynamic range and DAC curves don't fit the screen, we can use the DAC2080 function. It divides the A scan into several areas with different gain values to keep the DAC curve and solve the signals between 20 and 80% vertical scale. Another toggle is DAC TCG. It converts DAC to TCG so that all reference signals have amplitude according to their reference level, 80 or 50% vertical scale.